talk about a question that I do get on my like Instagram, sometimes on YouTube, and that question is, how do you talk to God? And I thought about this video, I'm like, eh, I don't know, should I film it? Like, should this, does it make sense to film this? But I do think that when I first, um, entered into the faith like I had no idea I grew up like just going to church so I thought that was what a relationship got, with God looked like on Easter you go to church you go to church it's like do you know God yeah I know God it's so much more than that and I do feel like as I matured and I'm still maturing still growing never ever perfect um but as I spent time with God and just went to church and I'm around like sound teachers sound individuals people who are seasoned in the faith they are teaching me um you know what it really looks like so let's get into this video the very first thing that you need to do is prioritize time life is so busy like you can get caught up in work you can get caught up in just doing the things that you want to do um but i think that the main thing is like focus on just prioritizing god um and that can be like you sitting down listening to worship music that can be you writing to god that can be you actually praying that can be you writing once again that can be you like singing i cannot sing for the life of me but girl like if there's times when i'm like making up songs and they sound pretty okay to me okay <laughs> but like that time is for you to just prioritize god and don't be so legalistic about it i remember when i first entered into the faith i'm like Ugh. I have to spend time with him every single morning at six o'clock. And if I don't do it, Imari, like you're such a bad believer, you're such a bad Christian. But I think like don't be too legalistic about it because when you spend time with God, you want to make sure that your heart is in it. So if you're tired, girl, do it later. If you know that you can't give your all right now to be in the word and to be focused, don't do it at that time. Like you have to know what time works better than you and there and then also taking consideration your schedule, um, things that you have planned. So like it's going to range like from day to day. Some people can get up at four o'clock in the morning every single day, praise God. But sometimes you have to be a little bit more flexible due to just, you know, matters of life. Two, be yourself. There's times where I'm like, God, you need to help me because this person, I cannot, I can like, you have to be very upfront. Like I think about it, like if you go to therapy, right? And you go to your therapist and like you put on this voice and like you don't tell your therapist everything that you're going through and you put up this front like it does nothing it serves no purpose but if you really go to god in your own words from your heart um not changing up your voice or anything like that but just like speaking to him as if you speak to like your friend you know like he's not a God where you have to like put on a show and he knows everything that's what it says in the word anyway so it's like let's not fake anything come to God and say what you have to say and just be you and that's enough just as long as your heart is in it and you have the right heart posture towards God that's enough um, but usually like in when I pray I like to make sure that I'm first off thanking God so I don't ever want to get into the habit and I used to have this habit um, until I got convicted of like, God, I really need you to do this. I really need you to show up in like my career. Or I really need you to show up when it comes to like blogging or relationship or, you know, but at the end of the day, it's like, that's not a relationship if it's like, oh, I need you to do this for me. And that's it. But it's like, thank you, God. Thank you, God, for waking me up this morning. Thank you, Lord, for just giving me your grace, your mercy, oh God. Thank you. Like, it, I just start out with Thanksgiving. And I think that from there, everything else flows. Um, but I try to get up every single morning, at least say, like, thank you, God. Some people don't wake up. Um, but make sure that you also are giving God thanks. And of course, like, letting God know what you need, how you feel, things that's bothering you, things that are on your heart. And just be honest, be you. So my third tip would be, it's okay to read devotionals, but make sure that you're actually in the Word of God. So sometimes like we can read a devotional, and some devotionals don't even really have a lot of like the Word in it. So it's like people's testimony, and all of that is wonderful, it's grand, it's beautiful. But I felt like when I really started to read the Word, that's when I saw a lot of changes and transformations in myself take place. Um, so I think that it's important to also take time to read the word. It's not just like prayer, um, but like help, helping 
you reading the word actually helps you to get to know God, who God is. And like to me, that builds up more reverence and respect for him because like you'll actually know who Jesus is and what he has done. It's so important to remind yourself of what God has done. So for example, um, for this year, I have like a blessing jar. So it's not that full because I have like some post-its on my wall too for things that I have prayed for and some of them I actually need to take down and put in here because they have come to pass. So I'm always like praying and if it's something that I'm constantly circling, um, I have it on my wall. So I have certain like fit friend stuff, like people who I'm praying for mixed with like Jose, future family and career stuff, like all that stuff is on my wall. Um, but like stuff that I've seen like miracles or like God has blessed me with something, I like to write it down. Um, and like at the end of the year, I want to open up the jar and like just give thanks to God for everything that he has done. But I think like you reminding yourself when God like showed up and blessed you and showed you so much favor is so important because you have those days when the enemy is trying to come at you. And I had those days recently where it's like, is this even worth, like, is faith even worth it? Is God even worth it? And, and, like, you'll have those thoughts and it's like, bruh, it's the enemy. It's not, you know, anything that this is not truth. Like, and it's so important to just remind yourself because that stuff will literally deter you or try to, like, get you off a certain path. Um, so definitely remind yourself of, like, what God has done. It's so important. Lastly, I would say just find yourself a really good church home for me. Um, I've been going to the Brooklyn Tabernacle for like four plus years. Um, and I serve in like BT Kids and stuff like that. I want to be so much like more involved but my schedule right now does not call for it. So it's like I'm praying. That's one thing I'm 100% praying about because it's you need community and I feel like it's constantly decreasing due to like the demand of like my career um and it's a no but anyways the point is find yourself a really good church home um somewhere where you can grow and be around like seasoned individuals that's why i met like my mentor i love her to death and marie she's like freaking amazing and she takes me for who i am not just like okay imari like i need you to be perfect like she never ever like doesn't validate how I'm feeling at the moment. She'll never try to like shove a verse down my throat. Like she definitely leads by act like action and you need well seasoned people around you. Um, so those are my tips y'all. I hope that this video helps those people looking to grow a relationship with Jesus. Not hard at all, but you do need to prioritize God. And it takes time. Don't beat yourself up. Don't be legalistic about it. There's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus telling you don't convict yourself you will mess up you will fall you will not be perfect trust me but having a relationship with god has been the best decision of my life um and i really encourage everybody to do so so let me know if you have any questions down below and i'll see you in my next video bye guys